Hi everyone, Cynthia Luhu here, and I am going to make some rings with Sawcrafters filigrees. Um, I just thought, you know, these are so beautiful, and you can, I wanted, you know, I just thought it would be awesome to wear these. So, um, I decided to show you guys how to turn them into rings and bracelets. Um, these longer ones that look like little nameplates, you can use these for bracelets, as well as these corner ones. Um, <clears throat> these will make great rings, especially if you want like bling rings because you can totally bling them out or you can just leave them as this beautiful wire. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make a ring um, and what I suggest is finding something because um, these aren't going to be um, adjustable. So you want to find something that matches your finger to wrap it around that is round, but you don't want it to be the same size. You want it to be a little bit smaller because as you know, when you wrap something around, it's, it's going to, you know, get a little bit bigger. So I'm just right now, all I'm doing is cutting this little dot off. I'll show you. I'm cutting it right here. And you can probably hear bubble guppies in the background. My granddaughter is in here with me and she loves bubble guppies okay and then I'm going to cut right here so you're gonna want a pretty good wire cutter I should have had this ready there we go now you're gonna want to sand these down a little bit with a file so any kind of a fingernail file some sandpaper you know, whatever you have on hand, just file it down so it's not rough. Let's see, I got one right here. It's not a real um, thick metal, so it'll file down pretty nice and be smooth. So I'm going to do that to the other side. <laughs> Monkey really loves this show. A bubble? What happened to Bubble? Okay. Okay, so remember... I don't know, uh, you know, I'm going to age myself a little bit here, but back in the um, 70s and 80s, women wore these beautiful, elaborate, you know, long rings um, from, you know, I remember. So this is kind of, and some of them look like spoons, and some of them were made out of spoons. So, um, okay, so I'm going to get something that I think is about the same size as my finger, which would probably be a marker. That's actually a little too small. Um, the pro markers work good for me. Let's see if I have one of those. Yes. It's actually kind of big, but okay. Just for the demonstration. And I'm using hot glue um, just for the purpose of the tutorial. Um, but you'll want to use Loctite. Let's see how many times I can say, um, <laughs> you'll want to use Loctite or E6000, um, if, you know, you're going to wear it. So already, I mean, that is a really pretty ring. You can, um, one thing that I was thinking would be really cool is to, let me pull this off. Um, oh, let me use these ones. To take these little edges like this and curl it up
Oh, that would be cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to embellish it. I'm going to use hot glue. Um, and also, you may want to glue this little edge if your finger is small enough um, with the Loctite or the E6000. Or you could just use a little bit of wire um, to pull it um, together. Okay, so let's embellish our new ring. Oh, I wanted to show you also the metal mixatives and silver. Um, look at how beautifully they cover the filigrees. This is in silver, and I'm going to be using this for another project. But they just cover so beautifully, and metal mixatives. So. You want some more? Want some more candy? I need to give her something to play with. What can I give her? How about something she can't hurt herself on? Like that? Okay. Okay, so let's get down to embellishing. Okay, what do we want in the center? Ooh, wouldn't that be beautiful? You can just, you can put so many things, you can just make, you can even use the same filigree and make many different types of um, rings. Okay, so let's see. I think I actually really liked this one. It's not blingy, but it's a it's a beautiful color. So I'm gonna let's check use this side. Yeah. So I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue. And let's see. I love the um the bronze look, so I don't really want to cover that too much, but I think it needs just a little bit more. So, even like a pearl, some pearls would be really cool. Um, let's see. We'll just add some a couple of these blings on it. And you can also match a bracelet to it too, because some of the filigrees are the same color like this that would match as a bracelet. Okay, so I think I want one right here. One right here. Brad, I'm making a video. And one right here. Bless you. And I'm just going to copy that design on the other side. In there. Did you find your gas cap? Yeah, the gas station had it, but it's cracked. It's cracked? Yeah, not like in half, just a piece. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Okay, so... I think that is plenty of embellishment for this gorgeous ring. Actually, I made it for this finger. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, for people that like big rings. Obviously, for people that don't wear a lot of jewelry, they're not going to like it. But Okay, so there's that one. Okay, so now I'm going to show you another ring with this filigree. And I'm going to take... These to be, let's do these two. Okay, so I'm going to wrap that around a pen. Now, if you have bigger fingers, you can use wire and just put your wire in those holes. Um, I'm probably about a six or a seven. So that works good for me, and I'm going to show you how to do it with wire. So let's see. Let me grab my wire. This is 20 gauge wire. And 
and I'm going to put the wire through right here. You see in that flower there's a little hole right here. And I'm going to put it through the same hole on the other side. And then I will just hide the wire with beads. I'm just going to pull it through. Okay, and now that one just wraps over to this side, and then I'm going to fold these up just so that I can wrap this wire around underneath there, and I'm just going to wrap it. And you can use your pliers too. I'm going to cut that. Okay, and of course you would make it for whatever size fits your finger. This is probably an 8 or a 9. And then the other side, the same thing. Wrap it around whatever your mandrel or whatever you have. Fold these up. Wrap it around the wire. I should be enough. I want that above that. Okay. Needs to be tighter. Okay, so now we have that, then just straighten out your wires. Okay, so that's now about an eight or a nine, and now I'm going to pull this one up and over that wire there, just like that. And then we'll just put a bead right over that wire there. Isn't that nice? So you can embellish it or you can just um, leave it like that. I am going to embellish it. So I'm going to get some blingies out here. Let's do some of these blue ones. And I want a big one for the center to cover that wire. And I'm going to pull this over the wire on that side. Even these out just a little bit. Ouch. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to put the This one on here. I'm going to pull this over just a little so it's more even. Okay, I'm back. In this house, it's always something. Okay, so now. I'm going to put little teeny tiny ones in there and I'm going to use glossy accents because hot glue just is not going to work. 
it will be globby and it'll have to be fast and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use these little three millimeter blings and I got these on eBay. Um, look up AB Loose Rhinestones. And there we go, it's fabulous. Isn't that a beautiful ring? Oh, I love it. This would make a great bracelet too. And to make a bracelet with these, all you need to do is, um, you could do it with chain and do a little clasp or, or a toggle um, clasp, or you could use stretchy string or stretchy wire and um, the little crimper beads and that would be very fast easy and inexpensive did I miss a bling or did it fall off I missed a bling how silly okay so there is that ring and this ring aren't they beautiful for people that really like the bling big stuff I mean they're gonna love this some people I know are watching this going, uh-uh, no, 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 no. But this would make a great present. You know, teenagers like, like stuff like this, so. Could always make it for a teenager, a niece, a daughter, a granddaughter, a daughter-in-law or something. And she will be like, wow, you made this? So here are all my rings. And I hope that you try them. And if you do, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.